At 8.30 this morning, uh, we had two active duty sailors involved in an altercation outside our Navy exchange. The altercation resulted in a multiple stabbing of a victim who was transported to the Navy hospital and is undergoing surgery. Both the suspect and the victim being active duty, we closed down the gate immediately and the hospital uh, did a code white securing everybody in place. We're doing a systematic room by room, building by building search at this time and the suspect remains at large. The suspect is a white male, 26 years old, approximately five foot eight. He's wearing a white t-shirt, tan cargo pants, blue sneakers, and we're doing everything we can to find him. The local authorities, Portsmouth PD, Chesapeake PD, Norfolk PD, I have the rest of the list here. Navy Criminal Investigative Service, Department of Homeland Security, which includes the Coast Guard and the Virginia State Police are helping us uh, with the uh, locate the uh, suspect. That's all I have at this time. How is Kate? the victim doing? The victim is in surgery right now. Can you tell us what led to the stabbing? I do not know at this time. Did they know each other? Yes, they did. What was their relationship? I do not know. There are reports that the suspect's wife is on base. Can you confirm that? The suspect's wife is on base with, uh, with the hospital at this time. Did they drive up in a silver car? Can you I do not know. Are these life-threatening injuries serious injuries? I do not know at this time. Do you have any idea of how many physical people are here right now? Bodies, police officers are on base responding to this? I, I do not know. I just arrived on base and I haven't received a full situation report yet. Any idea when you guys uh, will let people out of the hospital? We are allowing people to leave uh, as we search and uh, uh, clear their vehicles or clear their, their persons. Uh, they're allowed to leave, but uh, if, if they can't leave the base or don't leave the base, I can't, I can't let them go from their location. No idea what this argument was about? No idea at this time. And they were both, they're both active duty here? They are both active duty. And are they both active duty <clears throat> stationed here? Uh, no, they're, they're, I, I do not know where they're stationed at this point. Don't know and, and it happened in, in front of the exchange, argument took place, and one stabbed the other? Correct. Keeping in mind now that I have two Navy exchanges, one inside the hospital, one outside the hospital. This occurred at the one outside the hospital. Approximately, do you know what time you'll start allowing people to get their cars checked and to leave? Pe people are starting to leave now. Uh, select few have left uh, based on the search, and uh, as we continue the search, uh, people will be clearing the base that need to, need to leave. Are people in danger inside the hospital right now? Inside the hospital, we've set up a perimeter and there's security folks uh, ensuring that the safety of the people inside, patients and other workers are safe. Well, and that, well, that's for every building. And didn't well, you have a, you had a drill yesterday on this particular type thing, didn't you? Yeah, we had a drill yesterday. It's uh, part of our normal procedure to help hold drills with our uh, uh, sister agencies to uh, ensure we have interagency collaboration uh, for an event such like this. Can you tell us the event that took place for that drill? Uh, yesterday's drill was an active shooter drill. Can you tell us the uh, person's name who you're looking for? I, I don't think I had can at this time. Well, is it Wil Wilbur Harwell? Is it Wilbur Harwell is the name that we've been told that you're looking for? I, I can't verify that at this time. People who had a procedure scheduled at the hospital, um, patients that are in the hospital need to be transported in and out. Is that what's being <clears> done to? So most of the patients that are coming in for routine uh, hospital treatment uh, were turned away. Uh, we, we always try when we have an incident here on base to let them know as, as quick as possible and ahead of time. Uh, obviously we use social media to the best of our ability. And, and by the way, the, the hospital is a tenant of mine, so we work together exclusively to ensure that we get the word out. And so routine patients were turned away and will continue to do so until we find a suspect. Can you clarify two things here? I believe you asked if the suspect's spouse, or you mean the victim's? Victim's spouse. Spouse? Why? I meant the suspect's spouse, but it's the victim's spouse that is on base? Thank you very much. It's the victim's spouse. The victim is in surgery. Okay. The victim's spouse is on base. Not the suspect. No. Are not you guys the telling people in this area to be safe, to stay in their homes? 
Uh, I'm working with Portsmouth PD uh, at this time, and uh, they might have some information on that. Have you been told anything about the suspect? I, I told you the name, but have you been told anything about the suspect? I don't know details about the suspect. Uh, uh, law enforcement agencies know everything they need to know uh, to accomplish their task and find the individual. Do you know the ranks of the sailors that were involved? I do not. Do you, uh, what, what has been going on as far as the search goes uh, for, uh, Ms. for Harwell? Is it believed that he has left the base or is he still on the hospital compound? We're covering uh, all, all possibilities at this time, searching the base and uh, uh, expanding our search as required. Was there any indication after the stabbing which way he ran or where he went? And obviously he went into a building because you're now searching room to room. We, uh, that's, that's our standard procedure, that if we don't know where a suspect is, we, uh, we get rid of all possibilities on base uh, so we can work with uh, Portsmouth and local authorities to expand the search if we require. Did the victim tell you anything that you can share with us or share with the first responders? Did he say anything about what led to this? N no, I, I was <laughs> not on base at the time, and emergency services transported him Im immediately from the location he was stabbed to the hospital. What buildings have you cleared so far? Uh, ongoing investigation. I'd like to not talk about that at this time. If I can clarify, we have released the name of the suspect, um, and I believe that was put out in a press release. It is Wilbur Harwell, the name, Andy, that you have. So, and right. the description that the skipper gave is the description of that suspect. And, Thank Captain, you, just one more time for the people tuning in, one more time with the basic facts of what happened. At 8.30 this morning, Two active duty sailors had an altercation in front of the Navy Exchange, which resulted in a victim receiving multiple stab wounds. That victim was transported to the Navy Hospital, and he is undergoing surgery at this time. And as we, as you told us earlier, you do not know what led to the argument. I do not know at this time what led to the argument. The law enforcement agencies will get to the bottom of that in due time. And you have you have confirmed that the victim's spouse is here on on at. At the hospital. Again, I will confirm that the victim's spouse is here at the hospital. Do you have any information about the weapon, what kind of knife this was? I do not. Okay. Was the weapon left behind or did he take the weapon with him? I do not know. We have one more. Virginia Pilot, do you have a question? No. Okay. One Thank last question, Captain. How do you put into perspective what happened here today? It's it's part of our life to train for this, and uh, we were ready for it. And uh, um, it's an unfortunate incident, but something that we have to plan for, and I'm glad we do, so uh, we can bring to bear all the assets we require to get to the bottom of the investigation. And you did a, you did an exercise just yesterday? Yeah, just Last yesterday. Shooter. Yes, sir. Right. Thank you. Thank Captain, you thank you very much.